Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled Sea Level Rising Due to Planet X, Not Antarctica Ice Melting. Now, according to various reports published through various news outlets, a large cavity has developed under the Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica, which indicates that an amount of ice equivalent to 14 billion tons has melted under the glacier in the last three years, which, according to the reports, would seem to indicate that the Thwaites Glacier is melting quickly from underneath, most likely due to the ocean warming up. The Swedes Glacier has a surface area equivalent to the state of Florida, and if it were to melt completely, it would lead to the ocean level rising by 2 feet. In addition, since it is stopping other glaciers behind it from flowing into the ocean, it melting could lead to the other glaciers behind it melting as well. And if that was to occur, the ocean level would rise by 8 feet. If all the ice on Antarctica were to melt, then the ocean le sea level uh, would rise by about 200 feet. And this explains what happens, how the glaciers melt from underneath and glaciers flow towards the ocean. They break up at the edge and that leads to the formation of icebergs. And then the ocean melts the glacier from underneath and huge cavities such as the one found under the Thwaites Glacier seem to indicate accelerating melting of the Antarctica ice shelf. So let us calculate how long it will take for the whole glacier to melt at the current rate of 14 billion tons, which is 1.27 times 10 to the 10 kilograms in three years. We need the total mass of ice in the glacier. We know it has the same surface area as the state of Florida. And its, mel its melting could lead to an ocean level rise of 2 feet, which is 61 centimeters. Now, since the ocean covers 70% of the total surface area of the Earth, we have that the total surface area of the Earth's oceans is given by this equation, where surface area of the ocean is 0.7 or 70% of the total surface area of the Earth. So that's 0.7 times 4 pi r squared, where r is the radius of the Earth, and that's 6,371 kilometers. And when we calculate that, we get 3.57 times 10 to the 40 meters squared. Since the melting of the glacier will lead to a rise in the ocean level of 2 feet, which is 0.61 meters, we know that the total volume of ice in the glacier that will lead to a sea level rise is given by this. That's the volume of total ice in the glacier, and that's the total surface area of the ocean times the ocean level rise, h, which is 0.61 meters. And if we multiply that out, so we multiply this number by 0.61 meters, we get 2.18 times 10 to the 14 meters cubed. Then we take that volume and we multiply by the density of ice to get the total mass of ice in the glacier. And the density of ice is 917 kilograms per meter cubed. So if we multiply this by that, we get 2.00 times 10 to the 17 kilograms. So this is the total mass of ice in the glacier that when it melts, it leads to that sea level uh, increase. But now we can use that to calculate how long it will take for all this ice to melt. If it continues to melt at the same rate of 14 billion tons in three years. And we can just use these ratios. So we have the total mass uh, of, the of ice in the glacier divided by the mass uh, in the cavity that melted in three years. That will be equal to the time it will take for the glacier to melt divided by the time it will take uh, it took the cavity ice to melt. And so we just uh, rearrange the equation so that T glacier is the subject of the equation. And now we have 2 times 10 to the 17, that's M glacier, divided by 1.27 times 10 to the 10 kilograms times the time the cavity took to melt, which is 3 years. And when we calculate that, we get 4.7 times 10 to the 10 years. And that's 47 billion years. So that's how long it will take for the whole Swedes glacier to melt. Now, is this some kind of joke? Why are articles being written with an alarmist kind of tone when it will take 47 billion years for this glacier to completely melt? Note that even if the melting rate increases 1,000 times, it will still take 47 million years for it to completely melt. This indicates that these alarmist reports put out by scientific organizations contradict the measured rates at which the ice is melting and are thus illogical.
However, these reports may indicate that the powers that be are trying to cover up the fact that the ocean level is rising. But the reason for it rising is not the ice melting. The reason will be due to Planet X. Planet X debris in the form of water clouds once led to the flood event. And as more and more Planet X water debris in the form of clouds come to Earth, it is very likely that the ocean level will rise once again. And you may look at Article 515 entitled Current Cataclysm Engulfing the Earth, started at the Great Flood, and Article 529 entitled Planet X Debris Field and Water Clouds for more details. This will be noticed as small islands suddenly uh, getting smaller or completely disappearing. And there was a report late in 2018 of a small island in Japan suddenly disappearing. And it was here somewhere in northern Japan. And... Uh, However, um, since the Earth is also expanding and may expand more in certain places than others, it is also possible that new islands will appear. And this is probably why the ocean level has not risen as much as we would expect, because we have increasing amounts of water reaching the Earth all the time, but the Earth seems to be expanding as well. So, in conclusion, illogical alarmist reports of the Antarctica ice shelf melting seems to point to the desire to cover up once again the fact that Planet X is affecting the Earth, and in this case causing rising ocean levels due to increased amount of debris entering our atmosphere. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.